hey guys welcome back to my channel c4 diwala and in today's video we are going to create this falling domino animation inside of cinema 4d so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we are in cinema 4d first thing we need to do we need to create our blocks so i'm going to create one cube then we will adjust the size let's make it 30 on y axis i am not gonna change any size uh, let's make it 60 or let's make it 130 so we will get this kind of stuff and now uh, we will choose this option called fillet and now press n d on your keyboard so we can see the edges and vertices and now fillet radius let's make it 5 and fillet subdivisions let's make it 3 and if you hit ctrl r we will get this kind of smoothness now we will go to the what we called you know, shape options and we will choose this cylinder now press r for rotation and by holding shift rotate it like that then go to the top view and let's decrease this size like this then press c to make this object editable go to the right view or hit ctrl z again uh, select this cylinder and rotational segments i am going to make it 15 and now press c on your keyboard to make this object editable then press t and scale it like that press e let's move this over here by holding control let's move this over here also select both of them hold control and move this over here again hold control and move this over here like that then select one of them and by holding control i'm going to move them over here like that now select all of them right click and choose connect object plus delete now all of this is one object now let's adjust its size move over here and let's move this a little bit until it gets outwards go to the top view again like this so we'll get something like that now select this again hold control create to create a duplicate and move this thing on this side so we'll get one over here and one over here now double click and apply this white color to this cylinder and this cylinder then again click double click or in the material panel double click on it and choose black color for this one close it and apply this with this cube on this cube so we will get something like this if you hit ctrl r as you can see we will get this kind of stuff now after that i am going to select all of them by holding shift right click and connect object plus delete so all this thing is now one object select this and let's call this as cube and hit enter now we will click on this option so it will automatically create one flow select this cube go to the front view and move this over here until it touches this line then press l on keyboard to enable our enable axis which is a, and shortcut key is l and move this coordinates over here and press l again to deselect like that now uh, we will go to the more graph and we will choose cloner select this cube and move inside this cloner now select this cloner instead of linear i am going to choose radial like that and plane as you can see it's x y by default let's make it x z so we'll it will uh, look like that and now we will increase the radius something around let's say 400 like this or let's say 500 and now uh, let's increase the counts also somewhere around like this as you can see if you hit controller we will get this kind of stuff let's make it 40 yeah now we will enable our camera like this and now select any of them like this and press s now select this camera and in field of view horizontal let's decrease this value and uh, select this flow and press s so it will uh, focus on this one 
and now let's zoom in somewhere around over here if you hit ctrl r we will get this kind of stuff now double click on this material panel and apply this color to this flow double click on it click on luminance select this luminance and let's make it 50 percent only and close it now we will add our area light over here and increase the height and size of this area light go to the top view and let's move this area light over here press r for rotation rotate it on this way and then on this way go to the right view press s to focus on this light press e for this moving and then press w so it will act according to global coordinates and let's move this over here like that if you hit ctrl r we will get one light over here now select this light shadow i'm going to choose area then go to the top view by holding ctrl move this light over here press r w and rotate it like that press e and move this over here select this light and this light by holding shift move this over here by holding ctrl again move them over here press r for rotation and rotate it in that way so if you hit ctrl r as you can see our all lights are applied on this one and select uh, this uh, material let's decrease the luminance value a little so we will get a proper shadows of them like that and now we will select this white material and we will apply the luminance on it so we can see those white portions uh, proper way and if you want then you can apply this black color to this one so that's it's also okay it's totally up to you but i would suggest not to do that like that let's change the camera angle a little bit like this i want this camera angle which looks good to me like that now select uh, what we call let's select this light and let's hide it and see what we can get or select this light let's hide it and let's see what we can get let's enable this so uh, you have to check out which light is necessary let's uh, decrease the intensity of this light and let's see yeah so i think this looks uh, good to me uh, now we can uh, apply our dynamics to it but before that i'm going to select this camera right click go to the cinema 4d tag and we will use protection on it and we will deselect this now we will select this cloner and then we will select this cube right click but before that let's select this cloner and by holding control let's create a duplicate it and alt click on these two icons so it will hide it so this is just extra in case if we have done some mistakes in our dynamics so we can use it again so select this cloner and then uh, i mean select this cube not cloner right click go to the simulation tag and we will choose rigid body like that and go to the collisions uh, apply tag to children and individual all elements uh, yeah this looks good to me now select this cloner and if you press c as you can see now we have this null object named as cloner and if you click on this plus icon we have this much cubes and all are with the dynamics now we will select this floor right click go to the simulation tag and we will choose collider body and inherit tag lets you apply tag to children shape i'll choose static mesh and now if you hit play as you can see all of them are still on their places now we have to do certain things let's select this first one which is over here and now we will click on the dynamic exp body expression of this one and we will go to the dynamics and as you can see we over here we will get this option called custom initial velocity so we'll click on it let's initial as you can see this is x this is y and this is z and, uh, and if you hit e over here x y and z so uh, if i see dynamics over here this is my x value so let's make it 100 linear velocity and if you see now as you can see we will get this uh, initial velocity on x axis because this is x this is y and this is z and i am uh, typing 100 centimeters so that's why it's moving towards the um, x-axis like that 
but this is not uh, enough so for let's make it 200 or let's make it 150 and we will get this kind of stuff and now uh, i want a little bit tilt over here so tilt uh, should be on this y axis so as you can see we have y x and y and we don't want any velocity over here on y axis if you by chance let's make it 100 and let's see what will happen as you can see it we will get a little bit bounce so as you can see animation is still happening but it will get a slow so we don't want that so let's make it zero and i want over here still so i'm going to type 90 so we will get something like this or let's make it 180 and linear velocity let's make it 250 like this and now oh sorry we don't want this angle over here like that and now we will select this uh, dynamic we'll go to the mass and as you can see we have world density over here i am going to choose custom density and let's make it 10 and now if we hit play as you can see we will get this kind of animation now let's make it 180 like that go to the dynamic let's let's see what will happen if i make this zero as you can see it's happening only on this direction so we don't want that uh, let's make it uh, 200 and let's make this minus 180 and let's see what we will get we will get something like this yep so yep with the help of dynamics we can create this kind of animation now if you want then you can if you see my camera over here we will enable this camera we will get this kind of animation which is in the smooth hit ctrl d go to the dynamics and if you want then you can increase the gravity up to 150 centimeter and you can check out what the results you are getting if you want the fast uh, things you can increase the dynamics according to you like three sorry hit ctrl d again let's make it 3000 and let's see yeah we will get this kind of animation so this is how you can animate your stuff with the help of c4d dynamics and you can create some interesting animations now there is another thing i would care you can do you can select this all cloners and go to the right view and by holding control i am going to duplicate all of them over here and let's move this over here and as you can see we have two of them let's delete this c4 i mean protection tag and let's move our camera over here and now we have two cloners and now if i hit play we will get this kind of animations and now you uh, as you guys know you can create uh, a number of uh, a number of copies by holding control let's create a duplicate of it let's zoom out the camera a little and if you hit play you will get this kind of stuff so yeah with the help of c4d dynamics you can create this kind of animations